Spencer, thanks. New at 7, dogs are often man's best friend. So when people are down on their luck, and the companionship of their, pet, companionship of their pets can oftentimes be their saving grace. One local woman is on a mission to help people care for their pets, uh, care for them properly while they're struggling to get back on their feet. 13 News reporter Nikki Walters is working for you with more on the story. How's it going today, sir? You need some dog food, a leash, some stuff? Through her work as a humane officer for the city of Charleston, Krista Messenger noticed a need in the community. Pets belonging to the city's homeless who needed help. How's it going? You need some dog food or anything? You sure? She keeps a stash of pet food, toys, flea medications, and leashes in the back seat and offers them without judgment. Trying to keep it so that people who are having a rough patch, you know, can keep their animals. Trying to be a resource and not always being on the negative side of law enforcement. She takes time to learn the animal's name and follows up to make sure they stay healthy. We would love to be able to expand. We'd love to be able to provide free veterinarian care where we, as humane officers, pick up the dog, take them to a clinic, have them spayed, neutered, get their shots. It's a mission that's helping animals and people as well. I have a lot of people say, well, why don't you just go and round them all up? Why don't you take them to the shelter? And, and people have emotional attachments to their animals, regardless of their situation. They love their animals. They sleep with their animals, the animals with them 24 hours a day. And instead of, you know, giving them another blow by taking away their animal, we're trying to make sure that they are healthy and happy living on the streets with their humans. It's a mission close to her heart that brings a little light to the darkest of days. You know, a lot of the situations we go in, you lay awake and think about every night, but having, you know, five minutes of joy playing with the dog and you know you're providing a healthy meal for them for the next day or two, it's priceless. In Charleston, I'm Nikki Walters, 13 News, working for you. If you'd like to donate food or supplies to be distributed through this project, you can take those donations to the Canal Charleston Humane Association and let them know that you'd like for those supplies to go out into the community with the humane officer.